guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. It is lovely to see you again. I wanted to share quite a large collective beauty haul with you today. And this is something that the Guru Beauty channel has become very well known for. I kind of want to say this is a whopper of a haul because it has been, gosh, probably over three months of things that I have purchased. I have just dropped so far behind in letting you know what I've been picking up recently but I think that you know all of my hauls are a little bit uh, whopper size. I've got products to share with you from Strawberry Net, from Sigma, from Dior, YSL, Burberry, Galan, Bobbi Brown, Chanel, Tom Ford and also some hair care, some Shu Uemura and I do also have some jewellery, some costume jewellery to share with you guys. So if you want to see what I picked up from brands like that, mostly high end for you today keep on watching. I'll start with the items that I have picked up from Strawberry Net recently. Now, Strawberry Net is a little bit controversial. They swear that their products are fresh and genuine. I have very, very rarely been disappointed by Strawberry Net and I've purchased many, many items from them over the years. They ship very quickly here to Australia. Sometimes their prices are the same as, if not slightly more than counter prices here in Australia. So you kind of do need to do your research. Products like uh, Tom Ford, By Terry, those those kinds of products are actually a little bit more from Strawberry Net than they are from the counter. So when that happens, I do figure why not actually get it from the counter themselves. And then there are also products that we cannot get in Australia that you can pick up from Strawberry Net, like these blushes from Kevin Aqua. I have a couple of blushes from him already. They are absolutely beautiful. The Pure Powder Glow is what he calls his blushes. And I got these two shades from Kevin Aqua's blush line. This one here is Natura. And this one here is Doline or Doline, a very apricot-y shade there. They're very powdery, very sort of silky feeling. This is Natura on the top. It's a very sort of nude, pinky beige shade, similar to the Chanel Accent blush shade, but a completely different finish. This one has like a definite glitter to it, but it's in like a matte type powder. So it'll be interesting to see what that actually looks like on the cheek applied with a brush. That glitter probably would disappear. Then the Doline is a very matte apricotty shade nice and vibrant for a nice sort of pop for a fresh young look really looking forward to giving those a try Kevin Elkwa makes some beautiful products they're just very hard to come by here in Australia I also picked up a product that is not available in Australia from Guerlain this is the lingerie de peau BB Beauty Booster Invisible Skin Fusion Multi Perfecting Makeup. It's SPF 30. I purchased this one from Strawberry Net. I got this one in the shade medium. It's perfect. I adore it. Beautiful coverage, nice and light. Uh, if you can get your hands on this, I would definitely recommend checking it out. It's a beautiful product. I don't think Galan has any plans on releasing it in Australia, disappointingly. And then this one I also picked up from Strawberry Net. This is available at Mecca Cosmetica. This is from Ren clean skincare. It's their Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. I have heard wonderful things about this. It's a potent exfoliating mask formulated to renew the complexion, dramatically improve skin tone and radiance and reduce the appearance of fine lines. Uh, it says that it removes dead skin cells to renew the complexion. Skin looks brighter, healthier, more radiant, reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and combats congestion, blackheads and blemishes. Really looking forward to seeing the results of the Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. And then the last product that I have picked up from Strawberry Net is from Giorgio Armani. This is an eyeshadow quad and it is the number six. I think this one is called Boudoir. This is a beautiful palette. It's just got a beautiful couple of lighter, more shimmery shades, a really nice sort of chocolate warm brown shade very matte and then a really deep matte plum shade really really pretty I like this quad a lot dupable though I would say I also got some products from Sigma Beauty some of their brushes this is the performance eyes kit the performance eyes kit contains a bunch of smaller precision eye brushes I really like these ones for bright colors or if I'm putting you know a gradient effect on my eyelid with something in the you know inner corner something on the center something in the outer V these smaller brushes can come in very handy. There are plenty of reviews of these brushes online, but it looks like the kit contains 
eight brushes, all of them very precision uh, and really looking forward to giving those a try. Let me know if you've tried the Precision Eyes Kit and what your thoughts were. And then I also picked up the Perfect Blend Kit and this is one of the newer releases from Sigma. That's what prompted me. I think they had free shipping. Maybe this is going back to Black Friday. This is one of their newer sets and this one contains six brushes. Uh, everything from blending the crease, sockets, something that would be really nice for blending concealer, a nice really loose blending brush, just some really nice interesting brushes. So looking forward to giving those a try. A, another brand that I have shopped at the end of 2013 to show you today is Dior. Very, very pleased with these products from Dior. Uh, leading up to Christmas when the holiday collection came out, I picked up a lipstick Etoile that I absolutely loved from the holiday collection. It's the Diorific lipstick range, so I ended up actually going back and getting another couple of colours. What I love about these lipsticks is, first of all, the packaging. The packaging is very sort of luxe. It's this beautiful gold, bauble-looking, ornament-looking lipstick you definitely notice it when you use it and it's just lovely and luxury and feels really nice in the hand but the lipstick goes on very opaque it's not completely matte but it really does sort of dry down and is very long lasting but comfortable on the lips so I really like that this one here the more mauvey one is called joy really like that very pretty and then the slightly more berry toned one I guess you would say is Diorissimo both beautiful shades can't wait to wear them more now that I've finally showed you these products I can actually start incorporating them into my makeup looks I cannot wait while I was at the Dior counter I was a little bit disappointed to hear that they had discontinued a lovely lip liner that I discovered through Sani called linen but I chose my favorite of the current bunch of liners just to test they are beautiful long-lasting lip liners and I ended up getting this one in brown fig my favorite of the current range of lip pencils from Dior I do like a pinky brown for pretty much every lip color that I wear if it's a nude or even a medium shade a berry shade I generally wear a pinky brown lip liner with it and just blend it in uh, love that brown fig shade so really looking forward to wearing that one a little bit more I did also finally succumb to the hype regarding the Dior creme de rose smoothing plumping lip balm people go crazy for this stuff it is lovely it's very very rosy smelling probably rosy tasting too I would say and it just has that lip butter feel it feels very similar to me to the Corez lip butters on your lips I can see why people really enjoy this I probably don't enjoy a good lip balm as much as some people who really really rave about this it's not cheap so I think it just depends on how much you love lip balms how much you'll appreciate a really good lip balm um, but it is lovely and I'm really glad to have it and uh, the rose scent just alone makes it just a wonderful pick-me-up to pull out of your purse beautiful I also picked up a, another Dior eyeshadow quint this one is in the shade grayish and it was recommended to me by a follower on Instagram I love it this is a really lovely sort of everyday range of eyeshadows you can see you've got a couple of highlight shades here one more sort of pearly white one a little bit of a very very light taupe that you could use on your inner corner or even your brow bone a nice lighter matte sort of brown shade and then you've got a gray and a more sort of plummy brown a really nice quint I'm really looking forward to using that one a little bit more I have posted a few pictures to Instagram I think about that next I ended up with the help of Aish Miss Goddess in training buying a few things from Burberry Beauty now Burberry is not available in Perth shame on you Burberry there are plenty of us Perth makeup lovers who would love to get our hands on Burberry products over here but unfortunately Sydney and Melbourne I think are the only places in Australia where you can get Burberry Aish bless her she went and picked up a few products for me when Burberry had a gift with purchase sometime at the end of last year I think around November maybe and what she picked up for me was the Burberry sheer eyeshadow in Rosewood you can see it's just a lavender silvery lavender shade on my hand there that is Rosewood I ended up rounding out the Rosewood collection with the lip gloss or the lip glow I think is what they call it I already have the rosewood lipstick and I do really like that the gloss is just a really nice sort of everyday neutral shade 
but really, really pretty. If you don't mind spending a bit of money on lip gloss, that is a really nice one I would recommend. And then I also picked up the shade Nutmeg. Very similar on a swatch here. You can see this is Nutmeg down below, just a slightly pinker shade, but still that sort of brownie, neutral, everyday shade that I love, love, love on my lips. I also picked up the lipstick in Nutmeg to match that second lip gloss and that is beautiful. It's just like one of those sort of cinnamony, raisiny type shades that I really like. They're probably big in the 90s, not so much anymore, but I think that this really helps make the teeth look white. These colours really suit my skin tone and I'm very excited to have Nutmeg in the collection. I also picked up a couple of Burberry lip shaping pencils as well. I got Rose Wood and again that is that sort of more purpley browny pinky shade and then the other shade is nude beige nude beige has a bit of a sheen to it very very pretty for lining lips with a nude look you could put a nude base there then just pop a gloss over the top to get the true color of the gloss really pretty shades i recently attended a benefit function for some beauty vloggers in Australia. It was lovely to see some of the lovely ladies there and they were also launching that week the Lolly Tint. This is rounding out the collection of liquid cheek and lip tints from Benefit that include Cha Cha Tint, the peachy one, the original Benna Tint and also Posy Tint, that pinker shade. This shade is like an orchid, like a cool toned pink. I've really enjoyed this. It's um, a little bit deeper, I guess you would say, than the posy tint, a bit more of a purpley type pink. I really like it. I have posted a few pictures wearing this one on Instagram. You can really build it just like the posy tint. It's got that gel formulation like the Cha Cha and the posy, just to have a little bit more time to play with. The Benna tint is more of just a straight liquid that sets very quickly. I really like this shade, particularly on my cheek very buildable lasts a very long time I think it'll be on the shelves February 15th from Benefit Australia so I would recommend checking out the lolly tint if you do like those sort of long lasting cheek and lip tints really lovely product there I also picked up a new product from YSL again we're going back a couple of months this was when the youth liberator foundation was brand new I was really impressed with the sample that I got of it I was matched to BD 50 beige Doré, and this is a serum foundation with SPF 20 really nice for those of you who are getting on in years like me you just feel a little bit fatigued you want a foundation that still has some decent coverage but is a bit of a glow it's definitely an anti-aging product they say that it's the first serum foundation to be infused with a unique glycan active complex it's a combination of expertise and innovation to revive the skin's youthful brightness and enhances the complexion's natural color tone skin looks smoother with a healthy glow i really enjoyed this looking forward to using it a little bit more i also picked up finally this was on sale i think leading up to or just after christmas the jerlique rose water balancing mist jerlique is a wonderful australian skincare range available at david jones and maya as well as their own self stand stores they are global though something for Aussies to be really proud of but this is probably their cult product the rose water balancing mist is meant to be really nice refreshing hydrating you can use it under or over your makeup it contains rose and marshmallow it leaves your skin balanced and refreshed you just mist it all over your face and have a good time so really looking forward to using that and seeing if it does help with the hydration of my face I really like sprays lately a couple of products from Bobbi Brown that I picked up over the holidays I'm not sure if this one is available on counter anymore this is her shimmer brick in nude glow I think I think this one might be limited edition came out before the Christmas holiday range and <laughs> going back a little bit in time I posted swatches of this on Instagram when I first bought it really pretty really nice shades when you swatch all four you can see why they would call it nude glow it's got a sort of probably a rose gold look to it if you like the rocketeur blush from benefit this one is sort of a similar type looking product it's got a sheen to it obviously as a shimmer brick but really really pretty you can use it 
it as a blush you can dust it on really lightly it's just a bit of warmth all over your face with a really loose fluffy brush really like the nude glow very very pretty product and I did also pick up the eyeshadow palette that was out around about the same time from Bobby I was going crazy for all of the new neutral palettes that have come out recently this one is Bobby's rich chocolate eye palette and it's beautiful again I really really like this product I really like Bobby Bobby knows how to do her neutrals these are what the shades look like ranging from a very nice light matte highlighter to some medium shade matte browns and then going through to some deeper darker sort of plummy browns with one glitter in the middle really nice something that you can use every day again you can have a smoky eye a really nice neutral light day eye i love that it sort of hits all the things that i look for i always look for a matte highlight one or two medium matte blending out transition shade and darker matte shades that will help to line and define so this palette hits all of those marks for me while I do think that Bobbi Brown is overpriced in Australia a really nice palette nonetheless a couple of products from Guerlain I did pick up the Meteorites compact press powder it's meant to be illuminating and mattifying and I got this one in the shade 02 Tump Beige I have the pearls in Tump Beige really like them if you like just a light loose finishing powder with a little bit of a sheen this pressed powder I thought would be worth giving a try. I'm in love with Galan. Let me know if you've tried these powders and what your thoughts are on them. I would love to hear from you. And then I could not resist this product when I saw it on counter. It is just to die for. To look at it is to love it. This is the Galan Terra Aura Sculpting Powder. It says it's a contrast highlighter for the face and decollete. It's got a beautiful gold in the center with some shimmer and sheen and then the bronzer around the outside also has some shimmer and sheen beautiful for that all over bronzed glow over summertime Galan knows how to do bronzers also picked up a couple of new products from Mac I think that these may still be on some counters I know that Maya Sydney was pretty low in stock when I was there uh, a few weeks ago now but these are the Mac huggable lip colors Temptalia did a not a very positive review on these I think she didn't like the way they felt or the way they set I don't think they're as long lasting as they sort of promote but they're reasonably lasting and they do have a bit of a sort of jelly feel to them these ones don't set dry and they're obviously lipsticks you don't paint them on with any kind of applicator you just pop them on they are buildable the more layers that you put on and I got two sort of more neutrally shades I guess I got the shade touche that's what I'm wearing on my lips now with a tiny bit of lip liner and then also fresh and frisky which is a little bit more peachy you get a definite peachy color there on your lips uh, really like those shades definitely go and check them out if you like the thought of a gel type lipstick on your lips that lasts a little bit longer than a regular satin lipstick I've also fallen in love with a product that I haven't really had really positive things to say about in the past from Lush. They have a line of lip scrubs and I've tried pretty much every scent. I really liked the bubble gum for a while there, the mint julep which is like a chocolate mint scent, but I did end up buying at Christmas time the popcorn lip scrub. Tastes nothing like popcorn but is right up my alley with a salty sweet taste. Oh, I love it. It is absolutely beautiful. I would recommend giving this one a try. I don't like to lick this off. They want you to get the granules on your lips, the sugar granules, scrub it all over your lips to get rid of the dead skin cells, and then they want you to lick it off and eat it because it's a sugar scrub. I don't like the thought of eating all my dead skin from my lips that I've just scrubbed off, even though I probably, in fact, do that all day long. I just don't like the thought of it. So I use this in the shower, rub my lips, rinse it off, and uh, I just love it. It's just, it still is a beautiful scent. Really enjoy using that product. It just tastes beautiful. I would recommend it. Now, going back some time ago, I did pick up these products from Chanel. I went to the Chanel Beauty Studio in Sydney some time ago, and they have products there that I cannot pick up at my regular beauty counter. So, I finally found the CC cream that it looked like they were not releasing to regular beauty counters for a while there. I was matched to the shade 32 Beige Rose, which scared the hell out of me 
because it sounds very pink just by the name I don't like pink foundations I'm definitely warmer more yellow toned but they said definitely this is the one for me it is SPF 30 quite like the sample that I tried looking forward to using that a little bit more and I did also pick up their Le Beige retractable kabuki brush I was on the hunt for this one for months pretty much from the time that I bought the Le Beige powders when they launched this is a beautiful brush you can see I have not used it yet quite a stiff really dense kabuki brush I love that it is retractable you can chuck it in your bag and of course that means that you can take the Labage powders with you any powder with you and have a nice brush that's not going to be mucked up or muck up your makeup bag love that cannot wait to use that really exciting also from the beauty studio I picked up a product that I have not seen at my regular Chanel counter this is the LeBlanc range it's the light revealing whitening makeup base it's SPF 30 and this is the shade 20 mimosa and it's a yellow toned base I love that it's SPF I love that it's probably a bit brightening with that yellow tone so looking forward to seeing what that looks like under makeup what difference that makes and then I did also pick up the Vita Lumiere compact douceur this is their new basically pressed powder foundation I haven't actually tried this one yet but they recommended the shade 20 beige even though my foundation shades range from 30 to 40 in the Chanel range usually it comes with a sponge which is how they recommend you use it it's SPF 10 and looking forward to giving this one more of a try and then I did also pick up some products from the spring 2014 range don't know how to say the name of the collection the collection included two cream blushes which I could not resist I own every other one of the cream blushes that launched last year I'll include a link to the video down below where I swatch and review those for you this shade is Shamad is how you may say it don't know and this shade is intonation they are beautiful bright spring type colors really pretty love the formulation they are like cream to powder blushes they last a long time super blendable super workable beautiful blushes really like them and then I did also pick up the eyeshadow quad this one is called quadrille really pretty I actually quite like that pink shade all over the lid or for blending out and warming up a crease and then you've got a beautiful pearly white shade a really nice medium sort of lavender taupey type shade and then a deeper matte plum shade it is a nice eyeshadow quad I really like it probably dupable uh, so for what they charge for their eyeshadow quads you know depending on how much of a Chanel fan you are that one may be worth skipping may be worth checking out while it's still on counter then the last product that I picked up from the Chanel spring 2014 collection is one of their illusion d'ombres and this is the one in 92 diapason if that's how you say it diapason don't know how you would say that but it's a beautiful shimmery purple I love the illusion d'ombres I love the formulation it's beautiful I store them upside down so they don't dry out but the purple is just a gorgeous color I could not pass you can build this up to something really dimensional and beautiful and strong or you can just use it light really nice for under the eye as well has a bit of a sparkle beautiful formulation that lasts all day I could not be happier with that beautiful product from Chanel that is the spring 2014 collection they are my picks and that is where I'm going to end this haul for now I'm sure that this video is long enough I do have some products from Tom Ford and also Shu Uemura as well as some really lovely statement jewelry pieces I will post those in a separate video so that is it for now thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed I'll include a link to the next haul video down below once it is up thank you so much for sticking by me I really appreciate it thank you for watching have yourself a beautiful day don't forget how beautiful you are and I'll see you again really soon bye